three dots are shown in the Lewis symbol for a nitride ion. Five, seven, eight, or 14. The number of dots shown in the Lewis symbol for an atom is equal to the number of valence electrons. Valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost shell of the atom. A nitrogen atom has seven electrons. And its electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. There are two electrons in the first shell and five electrons in the second shell. The second shell is the valence or outermost shell. Therefore, a nitrogen atom has five valence electrons. This is the Lewis symbol for a nitrogen atom. The symbol for the element is surrounded by five dots. But the question is asking for the Lewis symbol for the nitride ion, which has a charge of negative three. A negative three charge means a gain of three electrons. Seven plus three is 10. So a nitride ion has 10 electrons and is isoelectronic with neon. It has the same electron configuration as a neon atom. So instead of five dots, we need to show three more dots. Whenever we draw the th Lewis symbol for an ion, we must enclose it in a square bracket and indicate the charge as a superscript. So the correct answer is eight. We can easily figure out the answer to this question by referring to the periodic table. The elements are arranged so that the group number is equal to the number of valence electrons. We can see that the nitrogen belongs to group 5A. Therefore, a nitrogen atom has five valence electrons. The same is true for phosphorus and other members of this group. When nonmetals form negative ions, their tendency is to gain enough electrons to become isoelectronic with a noble gas. Nitrogen tends to gain three electrons to become isoelectronic with a noble gas, in this case, neon. A similar behavior is observed for phosphorus and arsenic. Since noble gases have eight valence electrons, except for helium, this propensity of an atom to acquire a noble gas-like configuration is known as the octet rule.